We have here two Montevipera that we caught within short time actually. On this hand we have a Montevipera Rade from the mountain straight up and on this hand, on the right hand, on the left side, we have Montevipera Wagneri for which we both look for the contact zone of these two species and see if there's any uh, mixing, any habitat selection going on or even hybridization which we're not sure. We can see a little bit on the pattern, the differences. The Wagneri here has a, a yellowish uh, dorsal spots that are encircled by black. There's a Rade has only a few spots. In this case it's more orange. Of course they are not freshly shed, these two specimens. So they, these colors can be more illuminated once they are freshly shed. Um, we have no indication of any habitation yet, nothing such is actually known, not even a contact zone is known, but we think that today we found pretty much the area of the contact zone which is far behind here. We have, if we film up again please, here from the left side, straight ahead, the big cliffs, which is uh, the Wagneri uh, site, and to the right, to one, two kilometers to the right, we have the sites for Rade, which basically are the same, very similar areas. Although we will look a bit further into details about habitat differences or what makes a contact zone really a contact zone in the future. So certainly this is the first that uh, we can demonstrate that these two species do get very close to each other if not actually even contact. Maybe we put the bones on the hand or something. It may be helping a little bit. This one a little bit nervous. The rat is a little bit more nervous. So, okay, why not like this way? Monte Vipera Radi on the Monte Vipera Wagneri. Thank you very much. And here we have actually to the right Matt Carr, PhD candidate, uh, Professor Bailam Gutschman at AK University in Izmir, working on Lucia Salamandra. Uh, then in the middle we have Nazit Ixi, also PhD candidate, probably finishing this year at Ankara University, working on proteomics in uh, viper venoms of Turkey, of large Turkey vipers. And the uh, man holding the camera, maybe Nashi, you can take the camera yeah. for a moment, is our young fellow, shining and smiling as usual, um, Anil Ogus, yeah. uh, a master candidate working on amphibian. Yeah, Lucia Salamandra. Also Lucia Salamandra, also at AG University with yeah. Milam Gutschman as professor. And me, myself, um, I'm Dr. Konrad Miebert from Schumann Switzerland University, Associated University of Basel, uh, being the project leader in this uh, section, yeah, in this uh, work. The principal investigator, actually. Thank you very much. More to be followed. Thanks to NBC Fund, we can do this excursion this year. Thanks to the Mohammed bin Zaid Conservation Fund, which supported the excursion and the tour for this year, and thanks to the German DGHT, um, uh, Wilhelm Peters Fund, which supported our research in this uh, context last year, we were able actually to find the contact zones between Montevipera Wagneri, okay, that's the one hissing, and Montevipera Rade, the one which is quietly watching at its sister species on the other <laughs> hand. Yeah. If they um, hybridize, we don't know yet. We will see this later on with genetics. Thank you very much.